Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're going to take a look at some mask slips. That's right. We'll go from happy when the camera's on to, ooh, scary. Faces like this. Ooh, my God, scary. Um, but no, but we will be taking a look at some videos where you can see it's, they call it the mask slip when her face changes and she clearly gets mad. Ooh, one of my all time favorites. Uh, for some reason, she thought the uh, glass in the car wasn't see through and started making that face. Hey, Harry. Smile for the camera. Now show us how you really feel. Oh, yep, there it is. So we're going to take a look at some of these mask slips in no particular order. Here we go. Now, this first one's actually a reverse mask slip as the, she's clearly annoyed. She's waiting on her turn on the red carpet, talking to, I don't know, an assistant, sees somebody she knows, and then turns it on. See? Annoyed, annoyed smile. Okay. This one, she can't even hide her annoyance. She's so annoyed that Harry dare be speaking when she feels like it's her turn. If the, if the attention's not on her... She can't hide it. She gets mad. The blinking increases. Look at the neck because that comes up again later. Annoyed. See? Annoyed. She mad. But um, yeah, can't hide it. Mask slips. Trying to hide it. Knows the camera's there, but she's annoyed. Now I'm going to show you some quick ones. Thank you, Lady Amber Alexander, friend of the show. Um, she is annoyed because this guy in an interview had to be reminded who she was, what show she's on, and she gets pissed and makes this face. I just talked about this one in another video, but this is the Larry King interview where she gets mad when the attention's not on her. Larry dared ask her co-star there a question and not her, and she got upset and clenched her jaw. Just watch her face when the attention isn't fully on her. It drops. She gets mad. She doesn't like it when somebody else is talking. Here's another interview. If they don't ask exactly what she wants or she doesn't feel like she's recognized enough, she makes faces like this where she gets mad. And then here you go. Pretending to be nice and pl or pleasant, I guess. And then, see, stuff like this happens. She can't hide it. Even in the engagement interview, if Harry talked too much, she'd get kind of mad and clench her jaw like that. It's very odd to see. It's funny to me that she hangs her hat on being an actress, and I use quotations like Joey from Friends around that word, actress, but yet she can't even hide her disgust when things aren't exactly how she wants them or if the attention is not enough on her or if the questions aren't to her liking. To me, it's more, it seems to be more about the attention. If the attention isn't exactly on her or if Harry's taking too much attention away or, or right here where his, her mother is trying to answer a question, she gets really mad. See, she can't even hide it. She has to glare. Mask slips. There you go. This is one of the more popular ones that I've seen. Oh, thank you, Amber Alexander, for sharing that. Um, yep. There, and then she shows some creepy stares that, uh, that Megan goes into here. But then, ooh, this face at the wedding. Ooh, like the cat that swallowed the canary. Okay, I have to shout out according to Taz because I love her. I love her channel. I want to be friends with her. She just doesn't know who I am, but I really do. I love her stuff. She brought up this, and I definitely encourage you to watch her video. Um, oh, God, I think it's called Mask Slip. If you look up Mask Slip, according to Taz, this video comes up. Anyway, she does a brilliant job of reporting on it. Okay, so I didn't know the backstory until Taz filled me in. See, I'm talking like we're friends already. This is Megan talking with the editor of Fortune. The editor's name is Ellen McGirt. Okay. Megan's people spun it as she was invited to speak, but Taz says, no, 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 that's not what happened. Megan paid, I believe Taz said, around 13000 to speak at this thing. Taz explains she does things like that because... Well, her people do things like that, allegedly, because it keeps her in the news. And then to, you know, just normal people like us that don't know, it just sounds like, oh, my God, where, you know, these people are asking her to speak. And, you know, the sugars are like, yeah, all these people ask her to speak. But it sounds like she's making that happen. OK, this was a summit of Fortune's most powerful women. Taz explains that Ellen said something during this, it was going fine, but then um, 
Ellen said something basically implying that Megan's not the most powerful in the room, and that pissed Megan off. And you can see the visible change in Megan. She went from happy to this. Look at her neck. She's very mad. And the rest of the interview or whatever this is, you get images like this. <laughs> but uh, it's just interesting. She, they, When you Google this, this article, that's what the stories come up as, is Megan seemed clearly visibly angry and upset. Um, but then Taz nailed down, well, it's because... How dare this reporter or this editor nail down that Megan's not the most important woman in the room. It's just very cringe, and it is funny to see here when she's visibly upset and pouting about one thing that this woman has said while giving this speech. Okay, switching gears. This one is hard to talk about because you know my feelings about the queen and my feelings about Megan. But go with me on this journey. This is the mask slip of all mask slips. See, she's pretending to be upset, but then when she thinks people aren't watching or the cameras aren't on here, you can clearly see her smirking. Mask slip. There you go. So instead of the anger that we, you know, the, the fake happiness and then slipping into anger that we see, um, here it's fake sadness and then slipping into her real feeling, which seems to be happiness or smirking or whatever you want to call it, disgusting behavior continued. I say it all the time. If you wrote a villain like this in a book, nobody would believe it. They'd say that's too much. You know what I mean? Like you have to make them some, somewhat likable and then have them turn or something, you know, some redeeming quality. There's nothing here, nothing redeeming. That's disgusting. All right, guys, those were some of the mask slips that came to mind. If there's one that you didn't see on here that you want to discuss, by all means, leave it in the comments because there are lots to choose from. Oh, it just makes me mad seeing it. Ugh. I just don't know how everybody doesn't see this. I know you guys do. I'm preaching the choir, but I'm saying, like, how do others not see all this and say, hey, that's not how a normal person acts? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this. And, and again, if there's another one like this you want to see, by all means, please let me know in the comments. As always, we do have merch available. We have um, Recollections May Vary and Make It Make Sense. So check that out. I'll leave a link pinned to the top of the comments here. And Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. You talk about cringe. We found a cringe video of Megan posing for, what was it, men's health, pretending to be a guy's girl. And it is cringe like you haven't seen. Oof, still cringing. Anyway, guys, thanks as always for being here. We really appreciate it. And I hope you have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.